so tell me how you got into this series. This is part of a series of books, it is. right? It is. Our first one was a letter to my dog, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which I know you love your dog. Oh, yeah, I do. And I mean, I've, I've, I haven't written a letter to Maggie, but we, no. we do. <laughs> I think Maggie knows you yeah. love her. He, he talks to Maggie every day. As yeah, well, right? I, I know. Yeah, here's I, Maggie. I think I realized recently that I, my connection to letters also goes back to my father. When he died, while he was on his deathbed, like the last few nights of his life, he wrote us all letters. But letters are different than almost anything else we write because they're so personal, right? Yeah, so personal. And your dad wrote you all letters? At, I mean, this was like at the very end. Right? Very end. He dictated them to my mom, who then typed them up and gave them to all of us like the next day. And they're all framed. Yeah. And, so yeah. now it's a letter to my mom. And um, so Lisa... Uh, when you decide to do this, you call and ask me if I would do a letter to my mom. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, so I wrote a letter to my mom. Love your letter. And I, by the way, I call her grandma. I said, hey, grandma, which actually <laughs> is my mom, you and I have always had one of those unspoken bonds. We understood each other from the start but that is no excuse for my not actually telling you how I feel. So I'm writing to share a few thoughts that I don't say out loud enough. The footprint of your willing spirit and loving heart are more etched into us than Jay and Jordan's baby handprints were in the concrete sidewalk in front of our Texas home. Rob and I marvel at your kindness, courage, strength, optimism, and rock solid values have found their way into our whole family right down through our grandchildren. Love like yours has such a ripple effect because your tenderness and wisdom have been passed along to the next generation of McGraws. Just last week, you were helpful to Jay as he comforted little Avery before starting preschool. Jay assured her that other people besides mom and dad were okay. He knew that because you made him feel safe and loved every day of his life. People do live what they learn. From you I learned how to be a compassionate, engaged, loving husband, father, and man. Even at my age, I still do my best to not disappoint you. You have written on the slate of who I am every day of my life. Physically, you left us three years ago. Ultimately, it was your heart that gave out, the biggest heart that ever beat. I miss you like crazy, but as I said earlier, you are still here. Your spirit permeates every one of us in ways large and small. Thanks, Grandma. I love you, your favorite son, Phil. <laughs> Notice I said your favorite son, Phil. <laughs> I was the only boy. <laughs> He's her only son. <laughs> There's another letter that is not in the book, but it is one of the sweetest letters I've ever read. I wanted to share it with Robin. Mom, I've always known that I had an amazing mother, but I realized recently that you can't fully appreciate your parents until you become one yourself. I feel like I should start shopping for Mother's Day cards in the thank you section. I'm five years As I look back over the years, the dedication and sacrifices you've made for me are unbelievable. I've been blessed in many ways in this life, but none more so than having you as my mom. I love you and thank you. Happy Mother's Day, Jay. And Jordan is on the road touring with his band, Stars and Stereo, but he also says, Happy Mother's Day. Uh, Lisa's book, wow. A Letter to My Mom, is now available in bookstores, and my whole letter is in it. I just read you a short part, and if you ever want to know a little about my life and relationship with my mother, uh, it's included in there with a lot of pictures along with some other very moving letters.